This is the Vota steering wheel from 3D Wrap, suitable for both GT and Formula racing duties. I also have a full unboxing video, there's a link in the description to that, and a link to the product page as well. Today I'm going to take you through a detailed look at all its features and then onto the track for testing and evaluation. If you find this video useful, do hit the like as that does help the channel tremendously and drop a comment. Okay, let's get started. The Vota steering wheel is 290 millimeters wide, weighing 1.2 kilograms. On the front face, we get six backlit RGB buttons and two seven-way funky switches for a total of 20 inputs. Cut from 5mm forged carbon fibre gives it a strong stiff structure plus a unique pattern that catches the light. The chunky rubberized grips are moulded directly onto the carbon fibre frame. The grips have a soft feel for improved comfort. The rear of the steering wheel features carbon fibre magnetic shifter paddles and dual analogue clutch paddles. The magnetic paddle shifters have a pleasant crisp tactile snap. The paddles are screwed onto slotted arms, so you can slide them out if you need extra reach. I found the default position to be fine. There's a sensible gap between the shifter and clutch paddles, making it unlikely you'll trigger the adjacent paddle by accident. The biting point for the dual clutch paddles is adjusted using this dial. We start off by holding both clutch paddles, then releasing one to hit the biting point, then release the opposite paddle to fully engage the clutch. Using the dial, you adjust the biting point threshold. You will need to remember the order in which you release the paddles, as the dial does alter the bias to either paddle, as you can see demonstrated here. The enclosure and other parts of the steering wheel are made from hard-wearing nylon using Jet Fusion, an advanced industrial 3D printing process where objects are fused from a special powder. Unlike traditional 3D printing, there's no visible layers, instead leaving behind a consistent textured matte surface. The included braided USB cable has a 4-pin DIN plug and threaded collar to ensure the solid attachment to the wheel. The cable is quite short, but being coiled it does expand. And the narrow steering angle of the cars you'll be running with this steering wheel means you won't be twisting it around the steering column. However, there is still a chance you'll need an extension cable ready if your USB hub is located far from the wheel. And it's always sensible to have a bit of slack when the cable is lashing around. Once plugged in, you'll be greeted with this light show startup routine and default colour scheme. The backlit RGB buttons can be easily edited in SimHub. To do this, go to the Devices menu and select Add Device. Click on 3D Wrap and then select the steering wheel. Click the button you want to change.
Then it's a simple process of using the color palette to adjust the color. Individual buttons can be assigned their own color or the color scheme can be applied across the board. Also note you'll need SimHub running in the background in order to run an edited color layout, otherwise the default colors will be displayed. The standoff for attaching a quick release is drilled for both 50 and 70 mm bolt patterns. It also has another function that 3D Wrap called the double hub position. Let me demonstrate. First, we need to unscrew it from the steering wheel. Depending on the orientation will determine the position of the standoff, whether it's centered or slightly offset. This is the offset position designed for GT cars. Rotated 180 degrees and the standoff is now centered for Formula Racing. When you buy your Vota steering wheel, 3D Wrap will send you an appropriate adapter for your wheelbase. The 5mm thick carbon fibre frame is stiff, there's no element of flex, this ensures the force feedback detail is not dampened, and there's no doubt I can most definitely feel the pure intensity of every effect and nuance through my hands coming from my Moser R12 through this steering wheel. The moulded grips have a mildly soft and chunky rubbery surface area, the texture providing good friction, my hands are fully planted at all times without the need to grip the wheel tightly. That's good for long races and high torque wheelbases to help reduce hand fatigue. Ergonomically, the Vota sits in my hands comfortably. 290mm wide and lightweight at 1.2kg, handling is agile, a dynamic you want for Formula cars. My smallest Formula wheel is from Fanatec at 270mm. I've always found that a little bit too small for my liking and I do find the Vota at 290 is a better fit for me. GT wheels are usually around 300mm wide and up to 320 so 290 is a reasonable compromise to cover both Formula and GT racing. And that's the ideal segue to talk about the double hub position feature. The Formula mode places the hub in the center, the GT mode moves the hub a few millimeters upwards, and from the driver's point of view, the wheel is in a slightly lower position. Side by side, can you tell a difference? Probably not. It's a minor adjustment and there is a minor perceivable difference. In the GT position, the wheel sits ever so slightly lower and I can tell that is the case compared to the Formula Hub position. When your hardware setup is just so and everything is finely tuned to your personal sweet spot, small adjustments are noticeable. It does make a small difference, I can detect it, but I would also expect most other people sat in my cockpit 
wouldn't be able to tell. At the end of the day, the wheel still operates identically regardless. There's no change to the feeling of the force feedback or any sensation of how the wheel rotates. So I wouldn't be fussed on picking one over the other, but do consider it as a method for fine tuning the adjustments of the height of the wheel. So not anything groundbreaking, but still potentially useful. The shifter and clutch paddles are responsive, as are the six buttons and two funky switches on the front face of the wheel. It may not seem at first that you're getting many inputs here, but when you add them up, it's more than you first expect. Each funky switch is seven inputs, so that's two funky switches, making it 14 inputs, and then the six RGB buttons, giving you a grand total of 20 button inputs. If you're concerned that running a cable from the steering wheel is an obstruction, after all, brands like Fanatec, Moser, Thrustmaster, and some others use a more elegant solution where their own brand wheels pass data directly through a steering column connection, which is certainly an advantage and tidier, though it's swapping one convenience for another. The Vota is completely agnostic and not locked down to a wheel brand ecosystem. Paired with the appropriate quick release, I can attach this steering wheel to my Moser just as easily as I can to my Leobodner, and to answer that original question, no, the trailing cable from the wheel is not an impedance. It's unlikely you'll notice it at all. The fit and finish, the materials used throughout, and the build quality of the Vota is made to a high standard of workmanship. Feature-wise, it's well fleshed out. It's good to see dual clutch paddles. That's something getting more popular on steering wheels these days, but sometimes it's a function you need to pay extra for. With the Vota, it's inclusive. We don't get dedicated rotary dials. That's integrated into the funky switches. That's a practical solution, but I would say it would have been nice to see some chunky rotary dials there too. Overall, 3D Wrap have done a sterling job on the Vota. It's put together really nicely. The Vota is a boutique item made for the enthusiast market, so it's not super cheap, but it's neither overly expensive either. If you like the look of this steering wheel and its features, then I'm sure you're going to really enjoy owning this as much as I do. It looks great on the sim rig or on a shelf as a showpiece of elegant design. This is a welcome addition to my collection, most definitely, and something I will treasure for years to come. Lovely stuff. And that covers everything I wanted to show you today. The Vota steering wheel from 3D Wrap. There's a link below the video. Check it out if you want to find out more on their website. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like to support my work. And until next time, as always, happy simming and bye-bye for now.